Hey guys, um, okay, have you seen, on the Channel Awesome sh sh channel, have you seen that Save Fair Use Now video by Doug Walker? He, he actually gave us the number to DMCA, uh, their website, and, uh, you can actually email these guys. I actually just wrote in my area saying like why like why like I sent why I sent the a message and I'm gonna call them right now and I'm putting this on speaker Well, I guess I called them a little too late. Pew off for plain But basically what these people are trying to do is like, in 27 days, they're going to see if they can fix everything that's wrong. We got 27 days, 6 hours, 28 minutes, and... 23 seconds. Stop. Take action to stop. DM say take down abuse. What's the state? The internet flourishes because of all the stuff people make and share. But there's a force that has kept works off the internet entirely. Basically here. Okay, guys, we can start to make a big change here, but we have less than a day to do it. So listen up. Yesterday, Fight for the Fear informed us that the Copyright Office is looking for feedback on the DMCA, whether or not it has helped or harmed the Internet as a whole. This took us by surprise. Apparently, it's flown right under the radar. As right now, if you take a look at the comments, there's only 80. There's barely any there at all. This is our chance to let the government know what's been going on with fair use. Now, when I put when I put in my comment, I was saying, "Hey, I was giving a copyright notice because somebody was accusing me for using the wrong Super Mario game music." I don't care. I don't care if it's just a nitpick, but to me, it's an issue, and I want it taken care of. And strangely enough, the date that they're gonna cut it off and not let you do the comments anymore and stuff is April first. April Fool's Day. So I have to emphasize, this is not an April Fool's joke. Cross my heart, everything, this is for real. This is something every YouTube creator, every viewer, just anyone that's on the internet needs to comment on. And there's not a lot of time to do it. With Where's the Fair Use, so many people have verbalized how much the DMCA is being abused with these false claims. Everybody has either made a video or know somebody that's made a video that if it went to court, it'd be deemed fair use. Yeah, like, KaijuZilla621 has made some great claymation videos, and yeah, he's getting abused for them being live full-length movies, which they kind of are, but it's made out of fucking clay, not live humans. But it was taken down anyway. This is your chance to let Washington know 
what's going on, and how incredibly dated this process is. The DMCA was signed into law on October 28, 1998. It was created to protect copyright holders' rights as well as websites who host content. If a website gets a DMCA... See, like this. Cool guy says the kids to search for the worst. This is what is basically talking about. Take down, they must take down the content related to... Okay, content, the appeal... The DMCA. Here's the problem. It hasn't been updated to account for today's internet. Back in 1998, the internet was far different. Many big sites were created and many of them failed. We backed up our data on floppy disks and we now use the cloud. Many of us use the internet for all our entertainment and the DMCA was written for the 1998 internet. One of which, a site like YouTube, was nothing more than a fantasy. News stations aren't the only ones who can break news now. An average person with a cell phone can break the news before they can. The internet has changed so much in those 18 years, yet one of Jesus Christ, look at all that! The major laws around it has become a fossil. The DMCA fails to account for the internet of today. Instead of it being used to protect the content creators that you watch and love, it's now being used to harass and even destroy those content creators. This is a chance for us to band together and protect the internet that we love, and bring it to the one place that can protect it as a whole. Until we get strict penalties in place for false DMCA takedowns, YouTube is always going to be under attack, and so will the internet. This is our chance to bring the fight out of YouTube and into Washington, D.C. If you want to know, Fight for the Future has created a website so that you can send comments to the government right now. In fact, it needs to be right now. This page contains a form letter that you can edit to explain how the DMCA has affected... Yeah, like, this is what the com your, your comment required. This is all what is already typed, and once you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you can actually add, like, extra shit in to say, like, oh, for example... I use my Super Mario Bros. Wii as an example. Mention how people file claims on content that they don't even own. Mention that DMCAs are being used to inflict harm on individual creators and they are being used to stifle free speech. Mention how people just talking on camera with no copyright footage or music are being taken down. Now that's just wrong. Mention that some companies believe they create the law. Mention that DMCAs are being used without factor... Now that's wrong right there. Bring in fair use. Mention that DMCAs are being sent by shell companies to shield the company sending the takedowns. Mention how people use them as threats. Mention that videos are getting hit multiple times even after they're cleared. If you're a creator, mention how your DMCA takedown resulted in lost revenue and harassment. This was not our original plan next move for Where's the Fair Use, but it is incredibly important. We have a short amount of time to really make our voices heard here. So definitely send a comment, call, send them emails, and let them know that this needs to be fixed. Yeah, like, some people want to upload a full movie, and I know, yeah, they have the content's original owner's permission, and yet that's a, still a problem. Even if you get the permission from the owners, YouTube will still make it this. The battle we're about to embark on is not going to be a short one, but we're in it for the long haul. We know that this is going to require a lot more calls to action, but this needs to be done to protect content on the internet, all of our content. Whether you're trying to just upload pictures or entertain someone, we're all at risk. This has been shown by all the invalid takedowns in the past. While the current entertainment industries have the money, we have the numbers. The internet defeated SOPA. The internet defeated PIPA. Let's put an end to these type of bills and secure the internet for the present and the future. Let's begin the process to fix copyright law and bring it into the 21st century. Witnessing a cultural shift in entertainment that was last seen by our grandparents and our great-grandparents. The last time this happened was in the 1950s. The internet through internet-enabled devices will become the norm for watching content as more and more people abandon cable and satellite. We need to make sure that the industry that has such a hard time accepting new tech. I would never use VHS Technology again. Can continue its reign. And who the hell would ever fucking use Internet Explorer ever again? That should be an outdated software by now. Chrome, Google, YouTube, Facebook, everything. In That's good. Prices Twitter. And anti-competitive practices. We genuinely don't ask people to share our videos, but with this, 
we really need you to share it with as many people as you can and as quickly as you can. Links for everything we've talked about are below. Definitely check them out. This is our chance to finally start fixing YouTube. Comment, call, and email. We only have until 11.15. That's actually a mess up because basically it's the 20, 20th as of today and it's still working. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on April 1st. That's not much time. Go make your voice heard. Now, here's what he was talking about. All this is in the description. And here, I will highlight every last one of this. Except for... All you need to know is this part. So basically, look, guys, that's my two cents. The nostalgic age of Walker is absolutely right. We need to fix the content that is fucking up YouTube. I don't, I don't know why the DMCA is not working on it right now after I just tried to fucking call them. Now, this is my video response to the nostalgic age. Hurry up and make the damn Superman vs. Batman review. I am really losing my patience. Please tell me. Damn it! <laughs> In fact, God damn it, didn't they say that the review would be up today? I watched the fucking Batman vs. Superman review trailer and it said that the video would be up today. I'm on their site. I'm on their channel and I don't see it. Nostalgia click. Oh, hell no. Hell no. The last... The last time I tried that, my computer nearly crashed. Yes, my fucking computer nearly crashed last night because I was on channelawesome.com. I don't know if that's the style to create Channel Awesome or a different Channel Awesome. I was on that site and I was recording last night. My computer nearly fucking crashed. But basically, guys, you need to share this video and share the original content. I will leave it in the link to the description so that way you can see this shit. You got 27 days and 6 hours, basically, and 17 minutes to make it work. We've got less than 4 weeks until this shit ends. And I know for most of you people, that's a hell of a lot of time, but for me, it's not. For me, it's like the end of the world! But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked what you've heard, comment down below, like, and subscribe if you want the change to YouTube to happen. And you can make a response video all about this Content. Let me see if Alpha Omega Sin has heard about this. Alpha Omega Sin. Um. Say. Peter's making their 
own Minecraft server? Channel Awesome did this video two weeks ago. And where the fuck is the fair use anymore, huh? I thought I had the last ditch. 